Hi guys, it's officially Vlogmas. I cannot believe it's December 1st already. I'm in my guest room, which is not where my advent calendar is going to end up, but um, Glenn is still sleeping. It's like almost 10 o'clock in the morning. He's been sleeping like crap, so I'm trying to be quiet. And I'm not very good at it. Uh, so anyway, there's my advent calendar that I got last year. Uh, I mentioned this on my last podcast, but in case you haven't seen that, um, story behind this, I got my minis from South Karen Swappers. They came in a all black, like Ziploc bag, and then I gave them to Glenn to put in my advent calendar. Oops. Um, so I don't really know, like I can kind of peek through the windows and see, but I have not peeked officially. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, see what day one has in store for us. That really wouldn't have been quiet if I would have dropped that. All right, so this is what day one looks like. It is um, very Christmassy looking. Reds, greens, blues, and white. And it says it is from Vicky Blizzard, and it's called Christmas Candy. And Vicky Blizzard is apparently a Ravelry name, according to the tag. So yeah, that is really pretty and really Christmassy. I really like it. So i um, very excited to do something with this. Now let's talk about what I'm gonna do. Okay, so put that up there so that I don't have to hold on to the phone. Um, so if you guys saw the last podcast, I mentioned that I had started the messed up, um, <laughs> tangled mess I have here, um, the adventurous wrap which looks like this. And um, I'm using some 20 gram skeins that I got from Tiny, Tiny Human Knits. And I was gonna stripe these in, but um, these are only five grams. And that means I have to do a shorter section. So um, this was not the easiest pattern. Like I had to tink back a couple times, but that was my plan. So fast forward to yesterday um, when the northeasterly pattern came out and um, I cast this on when I got off of work and I'm completely obsessed. So um, each of these, the pink, the purple, and the green are all five gram minis. And right now I'm working on um, a color repeat of a leftover Felici that I have from my Harlow hat. So, now the question is, where do I put my minis? Guys, I don't know what to do. Stay tuned, I guess. We'll figure it out. Okay, little update on my advent plans. So, I knit three rows of the Christmas candy color in there, which is hard to see, I know, because there's a lot of neutrals, but you can see the pops of color. Um, and then I weighed what I have left, and it started out at five grams, it's now at three grams. I've only done three rows, and even shortening um, the pattern a lot um, to only do one of the lace repeats instead of um, all three, uh, it still would take too much yarn. So, um, cause this, uh, the three rows use two grams, um, and I need to do like a total of at least nine rows to make this shorter. Um, so that means I'm going to rip out what I've done and, uh, I'm not sad. It's going to go in my Northeasterly blanket, which doesn't look like a blanket right now. It doesn't even look like a scarf. Um, maybe a headband. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, this will be a blanket. So I'm not sad about it because I kind of really wanted to go in there. And um, I think I will make this someday, maybe, with other scraps that I know I have more of. So like maybe some sock yarn scraps or something. But anyway, that's the update. How exciting. The mailman just came. Uh, I'm trying to cover up any information that might be on there. Um, this is my Black Friday yarn purchase, my only Black Friday yarn purchase. And I'm super excited because it felt like it took forever to get here. Whole Scar and Super Soft looks like. I think it's 
400 grams. It's the size of my head. Um, this is the silver gray color. And I got one other one. This one here, which um, is a, like a tealy blue. It totally doesn't look right on the screen. Um, and it's Marlin, uh, which is a kind of fish, if you didn't know. Um, so this one is either going to be a worsted boxy or a fingering weight boxy. I haven't decided. And this, paired with these two, is going to be the, is it called the Humulus? I think that's correct. I could be wrong. Um, and then the last ones I got, the pink, uh, which is called Tyrian Rose, uh, this other teal called Peacock, and a white neutral color called Whisper. These are all going to be the Doodler, I think it was. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned next year to see those eventually knit up. So it is 2.30 and I'm still in my pajamas. I'm calling that a win for a Saturday. Um, but I had something exciting to show you guys. I finally framed two of my winter slash Christmas themed um, cross stitches that I did a long time ago. So unfortunately, for some reason, I cannot figure out how to flip the camera as I'm doing a video. So I'm gonna try and do this um, by pointing the front facing camera at it. Uh, there we go, that's pretty good. Um, so that's a cross stitch that I started when I was 18, 19, something like that. And I finished, oh my gosh, it's so hard to show this. <laughs> I finished it um, in, I think, 2002. That sounds right, something like that. And then the other one that I just um, got done framing is this. Oh my gosh, it's a alphabet sampler, um, which says I finished it in 1999, and that sounds about right. So um, this one's kind of cool. It actually has beads on it, but um, I don't know that I expect you to be able to see that on the video. So um, they're definitely far from professionally done, but it sure beats sitting in the closet where I've had them for the last, how many years is that? 16 years, something like that, anyway. Um, yeah. Quick story on the Christmas hat knitting. I finished my fifth hat and the lighting is terrible. <laughs> this is the boysenberry ripple hat, free powder pattern on Ravelry. And uh, I do have my hair up, but you can see it fits pretty well. It has not been blocked or anything like that yet. Um, so I've decided I'm done with Christmas hat knitting. I'm just done with Christmas knitting now. It's going to be my knitting. Um, it wasn't the way I intentionally, how I initially felt, um, but little backstory on the next hat I was knitting, um, this one. I started this in the round and realized once I got done with the ribbing that it was meant to be knit flat. So that sucked. So I thought maybe I could um, make it into, I don't remember the name of this hat right now either. So, um, but I thought maybe I could knit it in the round. I tried that, that failed. So I ripped it out, I started over. And then um, I was stupid. I left some of the yarn on the floor and uh, the Roomba decided to eat it. So yeah, I'm just done. I'm not casting this on. I'll be taking it off my needles, um, putting those back in with my, um, melodies interchangeables and yeah i'm super enjoying my relaxing knitting instead of stressing out over gifts because gifts can be bought or um nothing at all i guess <laughs> i'm back and i finally got my butt in gear i'm not wearing pajamas that's a start um and i finished my five gram mini the first advent um calendar mini of the season. It's really blowing out a lot. Um, do you notice my little sushi roll here? I think that's how I'm gonna be storing it because at least while it's this size. Um, so yeah, here is what I have done so far. 
I haven't measured it. Um, I don't know how long that is, but um, yeah, maybe two feet. I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe 18 inches. I don't know. Um, but yeah, here is the Advent Mini for today. Um, I'm super happy that this worked out this way to be doing the northeasterly um, blanket pattern. And I am so bad. I would tell you who the pattern is by, but I can't remember her name. Um, but she does have a very cool Instagram name. Um, uh, Skinanigans? Skinanigans? Like shenanigans, but Skinanigans? I'm not sure how you say it, but uh, when you read it, <laughs> it makes sense and it's funny. Um, so yes, uh, I absolutely love that this is the pattern that I'm doing for this year because I feel like five grams a day I can do even on a busy work day, especially when I don't knit it into something else first and then end up having to rip it out. So um, I am super happy about that. I may or may not do another color tonight, but I think my plan after I get this uploaded and edited and all that, which is gonna be minimal editing, that's just, we'll call it a style, that's my style. Um, I'm gonna go clean my craft room because it is a ridiculous mess right now. It's driving me crazy. Um, I may or may not get it all done today. I'm also doing some laundry, so it hasn't been a completely lazy day. Um, I guess I'm just kicking it into high gear at the end of the day, so. That's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, I will check in with you tomorrow and show you what color Advent Day number two is. Thanks for watching.